fashion retailer Boohoo has uh, bought the Debenhams brand and website for £55 million, but it won't take on any of the firm's remaining uh, 118 high street stores or indeed its workforce. Um, Boohoo has described it as a transformational deal, a huge step, um, but it does mean that up to 12,000 jobs at the department store chain uh, are still set to go. Uh, let's talk about this with Kate Hardcastle, consumer and retail advisor at the business consultancy company Insight uh, with Passion. Good afternoon again, Kate. Hi, good afternoon. Um, to talk me through this type of deal then. They've bought the brand and the website, but not the physical high street stores. What's, what does that tell you? So the Boohoo Group are an online organisation. Uh, in 2019, they purchased the high street brands Karen Millen and Coast, and they've been successful in evolving those into pure online retail offers now both brands that were struggling on the high street for a considerable number of years. I think uh, for those who don't know about the Boohoo Group or um, it's not front of mind for them, they are a fast fashion organisation. I think the three keys probably to the success is number one, they started out as market traders in the Manchester market halls. Uh, and I think they probably would have learned a lot of the trade, di dealing directly with the consumers then. They moved on in 2006 to set up the Boohoo Group um, with a clear mission to try and make sure they could work with the supply chain who has, they've been wholesalers themselves. They were looking at a way to cut out what they saw as a middleman, the retailer and supply direct to the consumer. So they've been really orchestrated in setting up those supply chains. And, and third and foremost, I think, is the way that they've really understood what it means to be an online retailer. And when mm. we've seen a lot of challenges from big retailers in their transition from traditional bricks and mortar retail to online. This is a brand that since 2006 has really understood just how agile and pivotal you have mm. to be to be able to survive and thrive in the online space. Yeah, I noticed, gosh, probably a, almost a decade ago now, but then, you know, ongoing over those years, my nieces who were, you know, young teenagers, now they're in their mid-twenties, some of them anyway, um, and, and their shopping habits were, were not entirely different to mine at that age, but but very different to mine at that age in terms of what they went for. And uh, places like Boohoo and ASOS had, had played a much bigger part in their, in their clothing life, <laughs> if you see what I mean. Uh, absolutely huge. And we know that also ASOS has been a huge player in that marketplace, but ASOS have had some challenges too. I mean, they are a retail platform for the brands so they are always dependent on that price matching a lot of the time and um, mm -hmm. they don't do uh, all of the sourcing themselves which the Boohoo group do um, and it's quite interesting actually a lot of my peers talked about uh, the purchase of Karen Millen and Coast as uh, they were quite dismissive of it you know Boohoo group was known very much for very fast very cheap fashion 16 to 24 year old uh, demographic customer mm. um, and they saw that perhaps these more upmarket brands just wouldn't be the right fit and that the, the Boohoo group would have problems uh, evolving into that customer base but they've done so very well and if you look at the social media if you look at the imagery that's connected to it it's just reflecting back well, to those consumers and, and what teenagers they want to see. teenagers eventually grow up and get jobs don't they and spend more money on that absolutely <laughs> i was you've one got once. you've got i remember uh, that uh, yeah you me too yeah you've got an aging consumer to think of as well but i think when you then apply that same logic to the department store model that they're going to perhaps take online is it going to be a kind of amazon type environment where you've got beauty uh lots of different uh, parts of their offer, but it's all about broadening that base for them. They do want to speak to a wider customer base. Great to talk to you, Kate. As ever, Kate Hardcastle, Consumer and Retail Advisor at the Business Consultancy Company Insight with Passion.